Hello everyone and welcome to another Twin Stitches Designs podcast. My name is Julie and I am the neighbor designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today I want to say we are episode 37 and we are Sunday, May 23rd. I am coming to you from my home in East Coast Canada. I am so happy, as always, to be coming back to you guys. Sadly, I wanted to record last weekend, but a few things happened, um, and uh, I recorded some other things, but didn't have a chance to do a full podcast. So that just means that there is even more to share with you all today. So I hope that you have your beverage of choice all picked out in your knitting, and you're ready to dive right in with me. I, you can find me both on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter. I will link everything I talk about down below this video. Um, to any links and uh, all of the shops I talk about are all there. I also have a newsletter, a Patreon group if you'd love to join, um, all linked down below. And I appreciate all of your support. I hope that you love this podcast. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe. This will really help other people see the podcast and just, um, yeah, just shows your love. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. So take a sip of coffee and let's dive right into the knitting. The first finished object was actually done on the last podcast, but I had not blocked or woven in my ends yet. So this is my Easy Eyelet Yoke sweater. The sweater pattern is knit um, is designed by Chantelle of Knititude. I knit this up for her um, knit along, and it is beautiful. I steamed blocked it. I absolutely love it. I didn't want to wet block it because, but I might. I find the ends are curling up a bit. Um, really love how I knit up. I did not do the cuffs as long. I kind of like a three quarter inch length because I always, I always bring them up a little bit. So I knit this is, is a top down sweater. I knit it on a US 10 out of Knit Picks Twill in the Fiddlehead colorway. I had asked you guys on Instagram if you think I should have knitted out of the gray or this green and it was like 80% of you guys are green. So I knit it up. Usually my colors are gray, but I've been really, um, been really into the colors lately. So I think it turned out really nice. Um, and here it is for you all. Really nice. Um, I'm glad it end, but I do find that I'm not sure if you can see that, but the end is curling up a little bit. So I may have to wet block it. It's a three by one rib and I find the three by one rib curls a little bit more than the two by two or the one by one, but it is really nice love the way that twill knits up. Really love it. So that is off my needles. Blocked photos have been taken. I'm really happy that I was able to finish that for the knit along. Um, I knit this, I cast it on April 2nd and I finished it. I want to say maybe like April. Oh my God. It was before the end of the month, like maybe like the 26 or 27. So this flew off my needles. Um, it really, really, I mean, on you worst of weight on a US 10, no problem. So all the details, I do have a Ravelry project page. If you would like to uh, know more details, I will link that down below. That is not often that I have a Ravelry project page because usually everything are my own designs. But um, when I'm, I'm trying to upload project pages for things that are not my design. The next finished object was actually a pattern that was, it was finished on the last podcast, but this pattern was released out to all of you. This is my Lumos, Lumos Char Charm, God, I can't talk today, um, socks, and I designed this out of Yarn Cafe Creations in her eggnog colorway. I decided to name this the Lumos Charm out of um, Harry Potter. I just found that um, these little things look like wands, and it just, it was bright. It was, I just, I don't know. When I saw it, it just clicked on me. I love Harry Potter. I love the movies. I love the books. I love everything. Um, I need to rewatch them again, but I was super upset because Netflix decided to take them off and put them on HBO. And I do not have HBO. Um, so I need to find my DVD player. That is probably way into, um, boxes and bins that I don't even know where because I do have the DVD set. So because I need to rewatch all the movies. I usually do that once a year and just love rewatching the movies and knit while I watch them. It's just, I don't know. I just love it. Anyway, crazy rant. 
But yes, this pattern went live. Um, all my newsletter subscribers received uh, the notification of that. So link down below if you don't want to miss out on any pattern releases. It is a knit to pearl to um, twisted rib for the knit. That just means that you knit the knit stitches twisted, but you just purl normal. And then the lace is on the front of the sock. You can do it on the back, but I just did it on the front. So you kind of have a nice um, break in the back. My brain is not working. <laughs> but yes, both of these are done. And I did a fun, um, I'm doing that on some of my socks. It's like a garter, this little garter rib at the heel where you do that. And it just creates a fun little texture. So yes, this pattern is out. I will link it below if you are interested. Um, it is now live. And the yarn was Yarn Cafe Creations in her eggnog colorway. And I knit this on a 2.25 millimeter needle. Cuff down and all of that. The next thing that I want to mention is because we are heading towards um, June 1st. And that means that my Bridgerton Sock Club will be coming um, to a full end and you will be able to purchase uh, the patterns at full price. If you are wanting the club before it hits on full price, um, the club is $14. Once these patterns go live, they will be um, full price at $7 each. So right now that means that you get three patterns for $14 or you'll be able to, um, I mean, you're saving a pattern pretty much because if not, it'll be $21. So if you are interested, I will link the club down below. Once that the patterns are all um, live on the first, the pattern club will be going up to $17. So I'm leaving it open for an extra few days if you are interested in grabbing the club at a discounted price. So all the patterns were released. I knit these all out of Knit Picks. Uh, the first pattern, and I have both socks here, but I'm just gonna put one on the sock blocker. Um, this one is the Duke of Hastings socks really love this one i knit this out of knit picks um, this stroll hand painted in pluto really fun texture pattern super um, simple love there's a little tiny cable that goes down the side super simple cable two by two rib all of these were designed cuff down um yeah and using a 2.25 millimeter needle so this is pattern one and this is the Duke of Hastings socks. Pattern number two in the club was the Daphne socks. This was knit out of Knit Picks, um, knit Picks Hawthorne in the Daphne colorway. Again, both are done. Um, this one is so beautiful. This one was knit with the two, um, two by two twisted rib, beautiful lace going on each side and has the same little garter um, heel flap and gusset detail. So this is Hawthorne in the Daphne colorway, which I think was just absolutely perfect. Love this. Um, it is just such a beautiful lace pattern. I love this pair so much. So this is pair number two of the club. And pair number three was knit out of Nitpick Stroll in Poppy Feel in this Stroll Tonal. Now this one is called Penelope Featherington. If you have watched the series, you know that they're a very extravagant family of their looks and their colors. And I really wanted this pattern to be beautiful, but kind of like more busy than the other ones. Um, so you have the ribbing all the way in the back. You have this fun cable, you have the lace. You really have a lot of that texture and intricate detail, but it's still beautiful. So really love it. And then this one is just normal heel flap and gusset. And here's the second one. But I really love all of these. So like I mentioned, this collection is going to be going um, up for individual purchase. Uh, they will be available on Lovecraft as well as Ravelry uh, June 1st. But if you want them 
pretty much buy two, get one free at the moment. It is $14 Canadian for all three patterns till June 1st. So if you want to grab it now, now is the time. I, okay. So next up, um, we have whips. What I've been working on. I, from what I had cast on the last time, I am working on a pair of socks for my Patreon group. I am doing a Design With Me series in our Patreon group. I will link Patreon down below. It is somewhere if you want to be able to support me a little bit more and get more exclusive content, definitely come on over there because it is so much fun. This month I decided to do a Design With Me. So I picked two skeins of yarn and asked my patrons to pick which one, pick all of the details of the sock. So they decided if they wanted texture or cables, what type of heel they wanted, toe up and cuff down. Um, they decided on um, what type of ribbing, all of those details they've decided. And I designed a pattern for that. They get the pattern for free and they also get to design, design it and knit with me at the same time. So they are knitting up their samples at the same time I'm knitting mine. And I thought, you know what, that, that's fun, but can we make it even better? So they get to have a chance to be featured in the finished PDF pattern with full credit to them. I will be choosing one knitter um, whose finished pair of socks are gonna be featured in my actual PDF pattern as well as on the Ravelry project page. And I will be crediting them. So whoever has the most beautiful pair of socks, beautifully photographed, um, shows off the pattern and texture really well, will have that chance to get into um, my final PDF. On top of that, we're also knitting along and the amazing Brianna of Little Wolf Knits donated a sock set. And I thought, why not even make it more fun and for all of the chatter in our private Ravelry group, all of that, they get a chance to win this beautiful sock set, the Chicago sock set by Little Wolf Knits. So I just absolutely love it. And here's her tag. I mean, how fun is that? I am just so excited. So they are knitting, all, knitting along with me and I'm just over the moon with it. So they get a chance to win. And I decided to extend the deadline to June. If you are and you want to come and join, please do. Um, everyone is always welcome in my Patreon group. Everyone. And um, you have, I think we're going to be extending it to the end of June is what I kind of feel with um, what other people would like. So you can cast on right now. You get the PDF pattern. Everything is in our Patreon group. We have an exclusive Ravelry group. And I would absolutely love you guys to join. It means so much to me. Um, for everybody who's supporting me on Patreon and all over, it just, it means the world. So thank you and come on over and join. We'd love to have you. So let me show you the pattern that I keep sharing about. They chose, um, I had two of Sarah's yarns, less traveled yarns, and I am almost to the toe. I'm about a half an inch away from the toe. And so this is gonna be done this morning. This is her um, Aspen colorway on her seven, 757 socks. So it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards. And here it is. It is a fun, really fun texture pattern. Like I said, I am almost to the toe. I mean, I'm pretty much there. I have less than half an inch to go. So this this morning is going to be done. I'm really excited and then I'll have the other one um, cast on really shortly. This is designed cuff down. We decided on two types of ribbing. So this one is a three by one and then um, this fun texture pattern, heel flap and gusset. And I'm knitting this on my Knit Picks nickel plated on a 2.5 millimeter needle. Lately I've been really liking the 2.5 texture that I'm getting, the gauge. Um, so I'm kind of just going with that, but yes. So this is it. Um, the pattern will be released out to the public at full price. Um, I'm thinking end of June when this knit along is done with my patrons. So they get it for free because they are Patreon supporters, but um, the pattern will be live to everyone else when we are all done our, our pairs of socks. Also in the back is just plain knit. 
for a nice um, relaxing. And here we go. So of course I'm in the middle of a row. Why not? Oh, I forgot to mention this little cute stitch markers from Knit Picks. They're little um, succulents stitch markers. And I have this in a bag that I showed last time as an acquisition from Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. It's her little sock bag, which I think is absolutely perfect to hold some socks. I love these little socks. They are so cute. And here is her tag. Really, really love this bag. So that's whip number one. And what else? So that you haven't seen yet. I'm kind of going through it. I mentioned um, that I was going to be receiving a skein of yarn from Laura of Camp Fiber Yarns, and it did arrive in the mail. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit of a mess in here. So actually, all of my bags are from Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. I've mentioned that her bags are some of my favorite, and today kind of shows it because they are all from her. So this is her small bag, little florals, super duper cute. And Laura's has this sock set in her shop right now. So this is the Mermaid Scales ah, sock set. My little ball just fell. Like when I say that this is a mess at the moment, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, but I am finishing off the ribbing on the second sock, of course, in the middle of a row, because why not? And let me show you the first finished sock. So this is the pair of socks, which is going to be part of the Oh So Basic sock collection. Now this sock collection, I've kind of teased it here and there, is a brand new sock collection that I'm going to be releasing on, I think it's either May 29th or May 30th, so be on my newsletter, and it's going to be including three full sock patterns for $9 Canadian. And if you're on my newsletter, you will be getting a small coupon code on top of that. So you're going to be getting like three patterns pretty much for the price of one. Um, they are all going to be cuffed down, potentially toe up. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still writing up these patterns and um, they will all have basic instructions. So they will be, they won't be complicated like these fun color work details. Um, they're actually mosaic knitting, mosaic knitting. Um, each of them have these little simple things that make them beautiful. So I'm calling them the, my oh so basic collection because you can really use up anything and they just make them beautiful. They're not over complicated patterns. They're perfect for beginners. They will be written um, both for single strand and double stranded knitting, which means that um, holding fingering weight double. And they all three patterns are designed with a sock set of 100 gram skein with two 20 gram skeins. So this is Laura's sock set, her mermaid scales. The, um, this color is aquamarine and this one is, um, I want to say sea urchin. It has this fun mosaic knitting. The heel even has some details. I put it before the toe and the toe has some fun details. So this sock set is available in her shop right now. And here's a closer look at the mermaid scales. absolutely love this one. My goal today is to um, finish the Patreon sock and then get this one um, going. So as well, all of these socks in the collection are going to be an afterthought heel. I'm going to be doing probably a YouTube video before the sock pattern is, uh, the sock patterns are released explaining the collection, um, what you get in the collection, how they're different from each other, kind of all of that. I think that that might be helpful for you all. Um, so I will make sure to do that in my um, go-to for this week. So yes, I am hoping by tomorrow that this uh, pair of socks is done. I just brought over as well from the collection, I finished a pair of socks last week that I forgot to show you. So these are the second pair of socks that are going to be included in that oh so basic collection so the last time that we were um, spoke I was on the toe and I just needed to place both of the heels 
and I had mentioned that they were going to be done that day, and I did manage to finish them both. This is knit out of um, Sweet Skin of Mine in her Daydreamer sock set um, on her MCN base. Really beautiful. Uh, Amanda also has some kits in her shop for the this sock set. So if you are interested, this is going to be included in that oh so basic collection. I am so excited for this collection to go live. I cannot wait. All right, the last whip that I have is a test knit that I'm doing for Vincent of Design by Dells. And I'm knitting this out of Knitpick Stroll Tweed. I received the yarn this week, um, or was the beginning of last week. This is Stroll Tweed in North Sea Heather. I think it's North Sea Heather. If I have it wrong, I'll put it below. But it's a beautiful blue with tweed specks. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it is going to be a sweater for Eric. I've never knit him a sweater before, but I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I'm knitting this on my Knit Picks Prism needles on a US 8 to get gauge. Really, really nice. I have this on another um, Chiago needle because I kind of wanted to stretch it out and see how it looked and take some photos. But this is where I am at. I know it's a little fiddly to show you all. But yeah. So you knit it um, back and forth until a certain amount and then you join together for the body and you'll come and pick up these um, kind of collar stitches. It is a beautiful pattern. If I can, I'll put a photo right here. This is my first color, and then I have two other colors that are going to be going with it. So I just love how Knit Picks Tweed knits up. It's beautiful. I showed on the last podcast I was wearing my Benton Pullover by Julie Hoover and Stroll Tweed held double, even single. I... I love it. So I know that my husband will love it as well. So that is how far I am. I'm trying to finish the pairs of socks because that actually has the deadline of this week um, in the Patreon sock pattern. So once the mermaid scale is done, hopefully tomorrow, I am hoping by this weekend to potentially split for the sleeves. Um, I'll see. I'll see how far I get with that. But my goal is to really make a dent in this once those are done. Because I want to make him a sweater and I think it's so much fun. I'm excited to see it grow and I hope it fits him well and he likes it. I know he will. He's incredibly knit worthy. So. And like I mentioned, this isn't a bag by Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. This is an her medium um, project bag and again her logo. That is all for the knitting. I do have some acquisitions to share with you all. So first we'll go into um, what was sent. Next up for Yarn in the Mail, I received beautiful skeins from Candy Shop Yarns. This is going to be for a future collab. So this is in her simple syrup base, which is 400 yards per 100 grams and her 80-20. So beautiful. So I don't know. Is Candy Crush the, yeah, Candy Crush is the colorway. And then she was so generous and sent this gumball minis for me. So it's five different, uh, six different minis all together. Her logos are the cutest. I mean, come on. And then you have the colorways. So we have coconut, speckled gumball, pineapple, strawberry, sea foam, and sea glass. I love this. I want to make all the scrappy socks right now. I'm seeing these minis and I just want to make a beautiful pair of socks. Oh, absolutely love that. Uh, the next thing that was sent in the mail. So Nicole sent me her newest um, Bridgerton club. This one is dying to get on my needles. This is Daphne on her soft sock 8020, which is my favorite base from her, um, 437 yards. And it is just stunning. 
absolutely love these colors. This will have to be on my needle soon. Oh my gosh. I just, I love her yarn. It's amazing. Can't wait to work up one of these very, very soon. The next package that I received um, was from Laura of Camp Fiber Yarns. She sent me over her mermaid sock set and then she also sent um, a few other skein of yarn. Um, this one is a brand new colorway for her shop, which is Conch Shell, which if you do not have this one, you need it. So pretty, and it's in stock right now. I absolutely love her um, Vibrant 8020 base, just beautiful. So here's her logo, and here's the yarn. And then she sent me, she had a little bit of a Barbie to go with it. And I think just, they're just perfect together. Um, and then she also sent her Sweet Succulents, which by the way, Barbie also goes super well with. Absolutely love that one. And then she had a little bit of her Pink Nebula. Yeah. All on the same base. All of these are from Laura of Campfire Yarns. Absolutely love them. The next package that arrived in the mail was sent so generously from Sassy Strings Yarn Studio. She's a Canadian dyer and sent some amazing yarn for the podcast. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, so this one is called Sweet Dreams. It is on her basic sock. Um, they are actually all on her basic sock. So it is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 463 yards per 100 grams. And the look at this colorway. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. This one is Enchanted. I loved, loved, loved this one when she was showing it off on her um, Instagram and it is just beautiful in person as well like so pretty and then she sent a beautiful neutral which is called Sandy Shores so thank you so much I'm gonna be keeping one and um, knitting it up. I'm thinking of keeping this one. It's There's something about it. Like, I was obsessed with this one on her Instagram, and I am. I still am. And then this one came in, and I don't know what caught my eye with it. It was just those beautiful, big, thick stripes of purple. And, I mean, seriously, I want to keep them all. <laughs> but I will be putting these in for a giveaway for you guys. So thank you so much. Oh, this has to be a pair of socks. I think this has to be a pair of socks. Okay, and the last thing that came in the mail um, was my last order, last, from a homespun house. And I had ordered her new colorway Disco Taco on her Plump Merino base, which is a 80-20, um, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% nylon, 407 yards per 100 grams. I have to say her plump merino my favorite base from her i love the squishiness um yeah it is beautiful and then she had one of these skeins on for um at a discount i'm just gonna from her old she had this one from her um old stock which is on her non superwash base which is jingleberry now i will say i was very i was very disappointed when i received this skein because on the website, it does not show that it's more like watercolor. Um, it showed more speckle. I do understand that it was a non-superwash base, but the photos didn't look anything like this game. So I was um, disappointed with that because I was really hoping, I've been wanting a skein of Jingleberry for years and yeah, to see what it looked like in person compared to what it looked like on the website it was very very different um, so I was a little disappointed with that 
I will still knit them up, but like this one looks identical to the website, her plump merino. Um, and you can see the speckles. So this is a superwash base where you see the speckles are more kind of speckly and this really takes the dye completely differently, which is normal for a non superwash base. But I do think that your photos should reflect what you're actually going to get um, compared to when you think you're going to get this and then you get this effect. Very different. So. Okay. And that is it. We had a giveaway for last weekend's, uh, last week's podcast, and um, it was for this beautiful skein of Nicole C. Mendez in Wild Roses on her shiny sock base, and I will put the winner right here down below. Congratulations. If you want to get in contact with me, send me an email at twinstitchesdesigns3 at gmail.com uh, and let me know what your, ma your mailing address is, and I will get this out to the mail to you guys. So thank you so much to everybody who entered into last week's giveaway. I am, that is it for all of the acquisitions. So I am debating doing the 30 minutes of day that Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady is doing. They are timing to see how long it takes them to take a pair of socks, to knit up a pair of socks. And I'm really intrigued by that because I've never timed myself. So I took out a few skeins of yarn because I have no idea which one I want to knit up. I want to knit a plain pair of socks, um, just vanilla, and to see how long it really takes me. So spend however long it takes um, every morning a little bit. So I pulled out a few skeins. Um, one of these is the um, skein from Nicole. This one is Penelope. I think self-striping could be really fun because I find self-striping just goes faster. So I'm debating between these two. This one is Daphne and this one's Penelope. I really love Daphne. And I wonder, oh, they're beautiful. I wonder how they'll knit up. So I have these two in mind. Um, I'm also debating on using this one from the Sassy String to see. Just a beautiful pair of vanilla socks. I also took out these from Blush Yarns, Natalie who I've been dying to knit up her yarn as well, <laughs> that I purchased. So this one is uh, cappuccino, cinnamon cappuccino, and then this one is tea leaves. Tea leaves? Yeah. These are on our 7525 base. And then I have these two from a homespun house. This one is wildflower on her gold stellina, and then this one is lake of fire on her um, cashmere, cashmere, merino, nylon. So if you, if you have um, a preference, please tell me down below. I need help on choosing which one. And I may do this from time to time in the morning, that 30 minutes of knitting. Um, I just absolutely love the idea. I love the concept of it and see really how long it's going to take me to knit up a pair of socks. Like I said, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, really kind of to challenge myself to see how long it takes. So let me know down below which one you think I should knit up. Um, I'm not sure. I want to knit them all. So I'm happy with any of these. All right, you guys, I think that is it for today's episode. Hopefully it's not too, too dark. Um, we are announcing a ton of rain for today. And um, yeah, so hopefully it's not too dark. I have a little bit of a light. I'll see how all of this looks and if I have to film again. I hope not, but today we are going to be staying indoors. We did a lot this weekend. We were traveling. Um, my husband had off on Friday and we decided to go to the beach. There was absolutely nobody there. It was just perfect. So the girls got to play in the sand, do some sand castles. It was about like 15 degrees in the morning. So it was just really nice, not too warm, just perfect. Um, and yeah, yesterday we went down for my niece's birthday. It was just a very, very, very small gathering. My parents, my brother and us, and that was it. So it was really nice just to be able to get together and celebrate her birthday, have the girls all together again. And today we are doing nothing and I'm so happy. Um, we've been traveling all weekend. So today it was just kind of like, I want to stay home. I want to relax. I want to cuddle with the girls and play and just knit and just do all of that fun stuff. Last weekend, um, last week I got my vaccine, which I'm very happy. And um, this week my husband got him his vaccine. 
Um, we were just really tired and that is it. And we feel absolutely great. So I'm just happy that we finally were able to receive our first doses and all of that is out of the way. And now we just wait for our second one. Um, but yeah, that all went really well. So it kind of took me um, off my game last weekend because I was just really tired. So that's why I didn't podcast. I had to do some other filming. Um, so that kind of took over. I'm doing a color work tips and tricks video and doing other little things. So that kind of took out of the way, but that's okay because I mean, this week's episode is a little bit bigger. So hopefully you um, really enjoyed today's episode and um, enjoyed all of the fun content. So let me know down below which one I should cast on. I'm not sure, um, but I'd love to hear from you guys and what you'd love to see more from the podcast. Always drop in um, a comment down below. So I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for checking out the podcast. I hope that you all have an incredible day. And as always, everyone, happy knitting.